These are the Ankole long-horned cattle that are unique and mainly found in western Uganda. These animals are said to have originated from Ankole during the Chwezi dynasty. They are resistant to diseases and hard conditions. However, there are fears that this species will be extinct as many people prefer crossbred animals due to their higher financial value and yield. This is the National Animal Genetic Resource Center office in Entebbe, which hosts the East African Gene Bank. Some of the countries that have backed up their indigenous breeds are Djibouti, Burundi, Sudan, Comoros, Eritrea, and Ethiopia, among others. We are starting with the bigger animals, cattle, goats, pigs, then chicken, we already have the technology, and we will go into rabbits and fish. The genes are collected from different animal species. We get the ovaries from the slaughtered animal, uh, then we bring them to the laboratory here, when we remove the oocytes from the follicles of the animal. These genes are preserved inside cylinders filled with liquid nitrogen at negative 196 degrees Celsius. To avoid mixing up genes, there is a machine which prints on the straws where the semen is collected. You print the bull identification, the breed, the date when the semen has been collected, the ear tag number of the animal, and where the semen has been collected from. According to Dr. Charles Lagu, the executive director in Greek, it costs about 500 million shillings per year to run this facility. We are going to put also regional, uh, national uh, uh, gene banks, which will be a fallback position. The design and the infrastructure and the facility will provide for risks. Risks against earthquakes, risks against fire, risks against invasion. The genes are collected following the standard procedures set by African Union. We go through a process of uh, preparing the surrogate mothers. Once they are prepared through hormonal uh, uh, administration, and uh, the embryos will then be implanted. Once they are implanted, and they establish, and they will grow, and we have a life organism. Banking the genes also comes with challenges. For countries like uh, Somalia, countries like South Sudan, countries like Djibouti, we have to build the capacity of the technical people so that they can collect and be able to store the material and send them to the regional gene bank. In order to avoid losing all the genes and the hard work that the countries have put in to store their genes within this place, the management is saying that they want to introduce an automated system where it will not require a person to check whether the liquid nitrogen has reduced in the cylinders where the genes are kept. Sudilbi so Arhanga, NTV, Anmojini Bank, NTV.